All right. Welcome to Online Mouse TV. My name is Jake's Animal, and today we have a challenge on the board. The question reads, root 3 plus root 5 all over root 4 equal to x plus y root 15. What there will be the value of x and y? Now, before we go into today's challenge, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop a wonderful video, answer video like the one you're about to watch right now. Straightforward, let's go to the board. We take down our question first. Let's put our solution to uh, this challenge. So here we have solution. All right. The question look uh, a bit simple, but not as simple as you may think. But as we go on, I'm going to touch every uh, step of um, the procedure without missing out anything for your understanding. So we put down the question, which says square root of 3 plus the square root of 5 all over the square root of 4 equal to x plus y square root of 15. Now, if we look at this question very well, the number one thing we're going to do here is to square both sides of this equation. Okay, so we put it in writing. We say here, square, square both sides of the equation, okay, of the equation. Okay, now from here, this we now in turn gives us square root of three plus the square root of five all of our all of our square root of four plus the r squared equal to x plus y square root of fifteen r squared. All right. Now, from here, I'm going to use binomial expansion to open up this. So, if we go by using binomial expansion, we're going to have this side of the equation to be uh, 3 uh, plus um, 2 to so the square root of 15 plus um, 5 all over 4 equal to. We also use binomial um, expansion to es expand this to this return give us x squared plus 2xy root 15 plus you're going to have here uh, y squared dot 15. Okay. Now, from here, we now look at this again. We can add this and this together. And so our expression will now become here 8 plus 2 root 15 all over 4 everything equal to here we're going to have this to be x squared plus 15 y squared there plus 2 x y root 15 okay now we look at this again we can rewrite this expression on the left hand side as let's proceed from here. From here, we're going to have 8 all over 4 plus this other side we have 2 root 15 all over 4. Everything equal to the right hand side square, a square plus 15 y squared plus 2x y root 15. This will give us 2 plus um, root 15 all over 2 equal to your x squared plus 15 y squared plus 2x y root 15. All right. Again, we look at this. Mind you, this is half. From this expression here, what we do here is, so from here, we compare the coefficient of the um, rational and the irrational number of both sides. So from here, let's say compare, compare coefficients, coefficients of the rational rational and irrational 
okay, and the irrational. If we do that, the first part we're going to have here, 2 is equal to our x squared plus 15y r squared. And if we are to rearrange this, we're going to have this to be x squared plus 15y squared equal to 2. Let's give this equation um, 2. Let's give this equation 2. We give the original equation, equation 1. All right. Now, if we compare the irrational part, we're going to have this to be 1 all over 2, which is this, equal to, here yeah, we're going to have this to be 2xy. From here, this will now give us here, um, 1 is equal to 4xy. And so let's give this equation 3. Okay. Now, from equation 3, let's make S the subject of the formula. And so from this, now say, from equation 3, make x, make x subject, okay, of the formula, subject of the formula. If we do that, we're going to have our equation 3 will now become x equal to uh, 1 all over 4y, okay? And so let's give this equation 4. Let's proceed from here again. Again. All right. We have our equation 4. We have our equation 2 and 3. Go ahead to put equation 4 into equation 3. So if we put equation 4 into equation 3, let's put it here first. Say put, put equation 4 into equation 3. So into equation 2. Okay. So if we do that, whenever we see x, we pull down everything in equation uh, 4. Our equation 2 says x squared plus 15y squared equal to 2. So we have our x here. So we put down equation 4 there, which is 1 all over 4 y r squared plus 15 y squared equal to 2. Very easy. Before you continue again, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button because we drop answer video in mathematics for your learning, for your fun every day. Okay, let's continue again. Now, with this, this will now become 1 all over 16 y squared plus 15y squared equal to 2. If we multiply through by 16 to the uh, 16y squared, if we multiply through, we're going to have this to be 1 plus 16y squared times 15y squared will give us 240y to the power of 4 equal to, this time this will give us uh, 32 y squared. All right. So let's rearrange this uh, equation. And so this will now give us 240y to the power of 4 minus 32y squared plus 1 or equal to 0. Good. Very simple. Now we now have what we call a aquatic equation, okay? A polynomial to the fourth degree. I'm going to use a special method in handling this now. In other words, I'm going to rewrite this 32 in a different form. Okay? So, 32 could also be written as uh, 20 minus 20 minus 12. Okay? This minus 32y squared could also be written as minus 20 minus uh, 12y. And so, if we do that, we're going to have this to be 240y to the power of 4 minus your 20, okay, 20 y to the power of 2, then minus 12 y to the power of 2 plus 1 or equal to 0. Now, this has not really changed the game because minus 20 y squared minus 12 y squared will give us minus 32 y squared. At this point, what we do? We bracket the first two terms, also bracket the second two terms. And so, we got to have this to be yeah, we'll bracket this, gives this, bracket this, 
and this together. We look at the terms that are common to each bracket here. So here, 20 is common. 20y squared is common. So we factor out 20y squared. 20y squared into this, we're going to have this to be 12y squared minus, here we have one, close bracket, minus. What is common here is um, just one. So bracket, we are left with 12y squared minus times plus we give us a minus so we have here minus close bracket or equal to zero very good you discover again that the terms you have in the first bracket and the second bracket are the same and so we take this term and this term aside and this this together so we now have here 20 y squared minus one close bracket bracket 12 y squared the minus one close bracket or equal to zero at this point in time we succumb to the zero product rule whereby we equate the first bracket to zero we equate the second bracket to zero okay so if we do that we're going to have this to be your know, 20y squared minus one equal to zero or 12y squared minus one equal to zero okay let's continue on the other side of the board again so we we'll continue here. Let's see what happens next. So we're going to take this separately. Of course, we're going to have this to be your 20y squared is equal to, cross it to the other side, will give us 1, or your 12y squared, 12y squared is equal to 1 also. So if we divide through, we're going to have your y squared is equal to 1 all over 20, or y squared is equal to 1 all over uh, 12. Take the square root of both sides. Automatically, we're going to have y is equal to the square root plus minus of 1 all over 20, or y is equal to same thing, the square root plus minus of 1 all over 12. Okay, at this point, we can go ahead to uh, use calculator to get the true values of everything you have in here and so therefore from here we have our y equal to plus minus 0 0.0.2236 0 then or uh, y is equal to plus minus 0 0.2886 all right now that we succeeded in getting the value of a y now the two possible value yeah sorry the four possible values of y but here we are going to take only the positive values of y which is the plug 0 0.2236 and the plug 0 0.2886 and we substitute that into our equation uh, equation 4 which says x equal to 1 all over 4 y okay so let's continue on this other side now from equation from equation 4 from our equation 4, which says that x equal to 1 all over 4y. We now look for case 1 for our y. So case 1, case 1, we solve our y to be, um, we have it to be uh, plugs, so we're taking the rational part, which is 2, 2, 3, 6. This now implies that x equal to 1 all over 4 into 0 0.2236 close our bracket which is automatically 1 all over let's resolve to our calculator okay so we take up our calculator we have 4 times 0.2236 we have this to be 0 0.89 4 okay 4 4 yeah all right if we go ahead to divide we're going to have this to be divided by 0.8944 you're going to have this to be 1.118 1, um approximately okay then we'll now look for case 2 okay case 2 automatically this is our y1 and this is our x1 so case 2 we have 
uh, case 2 to be y2 is equal to the value is uh, 0 0.2886. Then we put this into this same equation again. Okay, we put this into this same equation again. So we are going to have our x2 equal to 1 all over 4y, which is equal to 1 all over 4 into your 0 0.2886. Okay, close bracket. Okay, let me write this way. Okay, so let's proceed from here again. Okay, so let's proceed. We multiply again. So we're going to have our x2 is equal to 4 times 0.2886. We have everything here to be 1 all over 1.1544. If we divide down, we're going to have this to be um, 1.1544. Have this to be s2 is equal to your 0 0.8662, uh, which is approximately 3. So let's stop here, 3. So from um, this expression, we cannot have our x1, comma, y1 will now be equal to, for x1, we solve our x1 to be 1, this x1, please, to be 1.1. 1 8 comma the y1 0 0.2 2 3 6 close bracket then x2 comma y2 is equal to our x2 we solve it to be um 0 0.8663 comma and uh, y2 x 0 0.28 eight six okay close bracket all right so uh these are, are the two possible values for our uh, x and y from the next equation from this uh, mathematical challenge now if you've learned something from this uh, challenge give the video a thumbs up and if you have a better way of solving this also drop it in the comment section Okay, remember this is Online Mass TV. Jix is my name. And I love you so much. And all of us at Online Mass TV love you so much. Thanks for always being there. Bye for now.